The first decades of Islamic history were marked by an outstanding expansion of the new empire. The first two dynasties of the Umayyads and Abbasids stretched from the Atlantic to the Pacific. These conquered regions had been among the most important in history, like Egypt, Syria, Mesopotamia or Iran. Damascus, the old city of the Syrian region, became the capital of the Umayyads. It was an ancient city and old traditions continued, with the Roman water system or the colonnaded market street developing into souks. The great mosque was built inside the Roman temple. The architectural model was developed from the basilica, a Roman building type that Christians had already reinterpreted for their churches. However, the architects changed the design again, rotating the plan by 90 degrees to accommodate the rows of the faithful facing Mecca to pray. The buildings were adorned with marvellous marble cladding and glass mosaics. They were the most splendid of their age. The Umayyads built dozens of so-called desert castles, but none of them looked alike. They could make use of all the regional knowledge of the empire in their architecture for palaces, mosques and markets, or in crafting objects of daily life. Coptic, Anatolian and Byzantine elements were mixed with Syrian, Iranian and Mesopotamian forms. With the caliphs of the Second Empire of the Abbasids, Iraq Iran became the centre of power. Now, Eastern traditions served as a source of inspiration, such as those from the pre-Islamic capital of Ctesiphon. The founding of Baghdad in 762 had made Ctesiphon insignificant. Baghdad, or better, Madinat as salam the city of peace as it was originally called, was established according to the pre-Islamic model of the round city. The palace and mosque were located in the centre alongside the markets. Economically, culturally and intellectually, Baghdad became the symbol of the Islamic Golden Age. The adoption of paper technologies from China revolutionized Islamic book production. Pioneering achievements were made in the field of Islamic theology and law, in mathematics, astronomy, geography, medicine and engineering. However, Baghdad became too restricted for the caliphs, and in 836, a new capital, Samarra, was founded. Samarra, Suraman Ra'a, he who sees it is delighted, developed into a gigantic city system over a length of almost 50 kilometers. But a financial crisis forced the return to Baghdad, and Samarra was finally abandoned in 892. The Golden Age was over. In the 9th and 10th centuries, new independent empires emerged in North Africa, Syria and Iran. Baghdad was conquered in 945. A new era of the Sultans began, but the legacy of Caliphal Damascus and Baghdad remained.